the warehouse, my brother and his girlfriend. We've been living there for quite a while. We made it livable because I'm homeless. Flames greeted Nicholas when he got to the abandoned warehouse Monday afternoon. The top spot where I live at, that's where all the main flames are. Fire shooting out the windows, smoke so thick a gray cloud partially blocked the sun and could be seen for miles. The fast moving three alarm fire summoning more than 90 Baltimore City firefighters on a gusty February day. Wind plays a role in um, fighting the fire. It definitely fights against firefighters. With more than 30 pieces of equipment on scene, crews spent hours fighting the flames using ladders to help knock down the fire. No, no reports of anyone inside or no injuries reported. But the flames did destroy the place Nicholas called home. It might not be a lot, just but our beds and our blankets that we've gathered from people kindly giving them to us. You know, we have nice stuff, even though we're not in a, what you would consider a real place to live, but it's, it's a dwelling to us. And nice blankets, bed, beds and dressers. Our belongings, all our food, you know what I mean? Everything, extra clothes, it's all gone now. Investigators are working to determine what caused the fire. Nicholas tells me that some people who were living in that warehouse used candles and he thinks that may have caused the fire. We're live tonight in Southwest Baltimore. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. Vanessa, thank you. And of course, we'll bring you any updates on this fire and on any breaking news stories. Just download the WBAL TV mobile app and turn on notifications for breaking news.